Hello Internet, Sweaty Hewlett here with another Burn and Learn, and uh, yes, day two, I'm back from the Christmas holidays, and it's like I, I, it's like I never left. I'm actually quite enjoying it. There's something really, mm, I don't know, like satisfying about, um, about having sort of started your, your life changes, for want of a better word, like before the new year. You know, there's something about that sort of new year hitting. I know I'm gonna, you know, beat myself up about a billion different things that I didn't do, but there's one thing that I've started, and that's a little bit of exercise um, that I think is making my wife a lot happier because she was pretty worried, and um, and it's made me a lot happier. Like I just, yeah, I get the, I find these so therapeutic. This sort of just getting all sweaty and, and then throwing these things together, I feel sort of connected and, and inspired and, uh, um, and I feel like I accomplished something in my day. So I, I thumbs up from me. I would I'd suggest other people do it too, to be honest. And uh, so I will celebrate with a little, uh, 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 a little sip of my festive cranberry and soda, which is, uh, which is incredibly sour. But, um, apparently good for you. So there you go, I'm going with that. So this is a burn and learn. And for those of you who don't know, a burn and learn is my bid to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son and to enjoy the twilight years with my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane. I hate exercise, it's boring. So I like to learn something while I'm doing it and I like to share what I've learned with you in the sweatiest way possible. Thus, this beautiful sweaty thing. Um, today, uh, the burn part, uh, oh boy, the burn part was, um, was surprisingly easy. I think when you've got a good book to read, frankly, you can burn through this stuff. Um, sort of thus the term. Uh, so I did a good 45 minutes today, set on my, you know, my five on the torture device. And, uh, and yeah, as I say, I just kind of wanted to keep going, but I thought, you know, if you do, I, I can overdo it. <laughs> it's very easy for me to overdo it. I'm a little, a little obsessive about these things um, and impulsive. And, uh, and then I end up sort of like staggering around the, the, the house for the rest of the day with, you know, with sore legs or whatever. Um, uh, I actually cracked my elbow on the uh, side of the, uh, of the banisters here the other day. And it's just been, <laughs> it's been agony ever since. I've probably done something horrible to it, but damn it, I'm not stopping. Um, anyways, and the learn part of this, uh, of this whole burn and learn was uh, more STEAM and STEM learning. And I found, I found the book that I'm sticking to. I have bought it, the Kindle version anyways. I really like the fact that, um, I mean, I really enjoyed the one I was reading yesterday, uh, but it was, it became more project-based and I really, I feel like the projects aren't a problem for me. It's the, it's the, it's the educational thinking and how it fits into things and how, and basically how to burn down the educational system and completely change it. <laughs> um, not true. There's some great stuff out there. It's just a matter of trying to figure out how to make these things work. Anyways, point being, uh, I've got this new book, a little more expensive than I expected, I gotta say, but I guess there's a lot of research involved, so that should, I guess that warrants some money. Uh, so better live up to it, because I just, I paid like, a, I paid a pretty penny for it. Um, and uh, the other thing I really like about it is it's got QR codes and links in the system, um, in, the, in the system, in the uh, in the book, uh, that allows me to sort of do more research as I need to, and um, I do like doing that. I love those little follow up things. So uh, it's not something I do strangely when I'm actually doing the torture. I I prefer to look at it later um, because I really want to concentrate on the reading while I'm while I'm on the um, on the torture device. So, um, uh, but really enjoy what it talks about the idea that. You know, up until fairly recently, we've been sort of siloing our education into sort of English and math and arts and, and uh, geography and all these different things and how they've, they've, they've been complete little separate units. Even just the fact that we go from one class to another splits it, not just in the process of learning, but also in people's minds and how we're now trying to go like, hey, how do we, how do we bring all these together? Because the, they all relate to each other in some way, shape or form and, and they can all help each other out, like specifically adding art to it includes all those kids who don't like math and science. I mean, right away, it is amazing how just, you know, a, a hot glue gun and a couple of googly eyes and, and all of a sudden there are kids doing, doing tech stuff that they wouldn't have been doing before. Um, or even the 3D, I, I find Tinkercad great for that, where you get these really creative kids who, who just have no interest in the technology. But the idea of actually you know, building these weird creations out of 3D is just, it, it gets them every time. So um, it's just very valuable for me to be hearing the, the nuts and bolts, the educational perspective on this stuff, because I'm just, I'm just a parent, right? I'm just a parent nerd, and uh, I, I, want to, uh, I want to understand how this is gonna fit into the educational system as well, because especially if I do end up doing any kind of a makerspace down here, or continuing with the tech terrors in some other way, shape, or form, uh, which I'm really seriously considering, um, I want, to, uh, I want to make sure that I've got some good background information on this. And I'm going to talk to my little sister because Moira, uh, my other sister, one of my many sisters, uh, she's got a whole um, a degree in, in, um, in education. And so I gotta, I gotta, I've got to pick her brains on this stuff as well because she's great. She used to do these amazing, um, like she called them like Mother Goose sing-alongs where she'd get the parents together and singing with their kids and stuff. It was really cute. And it was just a very smart way of 
of connecting the parents and also getting the kids to interested in, in, in reading, in singing, in sharing, in collaborating, all this kind of stuff, which is basically what's happening with the STEAM stuff. It's being able to take the, you know, the more creative thinkers and, and, and allow them to work with the more sort of analytical uh, thinkers, the ones who are traditionally better at the way education has been up until now. Um, and uh, just being able to work together and collaborate. And, and, and uh, uh, I think brainstorming was a big one where they talk about like the idea that, you know, with kids who are used to just following instructions will, they aren't necessarily as good at coming up with crazy ideas for solving things as some of these, you know, more creative, less, uh, less, shall we say, uh, education driven kids. So, uh, which I think my kid might be one of them. Uh, but we'll see, cause he's got a, he starts a new school in January actually. So I'm, I'm very curious to see how that's gonna, that's gonna work for him. So. Anyways, having a wonderful holiday, I gotta say. I hope you guys are as well. Um, Bratlett, God, he abandoned me. He took off and went to see Spider-Man in the Spider-Verse movie, and which I kind of wanted to see, but I, I also know how cringy it is to have your dad following you around a play date. So I've, I've had to, uh, I was gonna sneak into another theater while they were, but I, I didn't. Um, so, uh, so yeah, he's off doing that, which allows me to actually do my burn and learn in my burn and learn zone, as opposed to hiding in my, in my cave to avoid the uh, the lightsaber battles, which I have to show off at some point. They are so cool. Like you can actually hit each other with them hard. Like, I've got I've got injuries everywhere from it. Anyways, so until we geek again, sweat it out. Here I come and cheerio.